all right guys welcome back to my channel here's going to be a quick video tutorial on how to do the oil and filter change on a 2018 honda cbr it may be applicable to other years makes or models um, so that's something to always uh, consider so i'm just going to briefly go over the steps necessary to go ahead and get this done and then i'll flash some step-by-step -step pictures on the process so you guys can follow along first we have a little pull tab here you can go ahead and just push that in pull it out then you're gonna have a bolt here you have a bolt here bolt here another push pull tab right here bolt here bolt that goes right here and if you want to go ahead and pull the whole thing off you have those two bullet connectors right there which actually disconnect your turn signal you can go ahead and unclip them right here by just simply squeezing that tab gotta pull that out to get that slack out of there and with all of that loose then what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to come in under here and as you can see this was together I like this. You got a couple tabs here that you have to pull at the same time. So that way this can snap loose. Underneath there's also going to be a screw that actually holds that together there. Go ahead and undo that. And once you've done all that, then this top fairing is going to be loose enough so that you can actually go ahead and get access to that bolt and then you have another one right here which this then just drops down and we have access to our area you're going to have an eight millimeter bolt that undoes these you always want to do them in a cross thread and then you've got the 12 millimeter oil bolt right there so once you've got all that taken out and you have access to everything then I'll go ahead and run the bike for about two or three minutes get the oil nice and warm and then we'll go ahead and get started all right so now that we've had the bike running for a couple of minutes we went ahead and just loosened that bolt a little bit now just be careful because the oil is going to be hot then place your pan under there you can finish removing that screw with your hands once it's nice and softened up and you can go ahead and drain the oil out of the bike there it goes So we'll let that drain for a little bit to help assist this drain. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and loosen up that tab right here and then that'll give us a good, good flow out. We'll wait for that to drain and then we'll move on to the filter side. So now we've drained the oil, so now we're going to go ahead and loosen these guys up in a cross pattern, and then we'll go ahead and finish them off by hand. So we're going to do this one, this one, this one, this one, and then I'll be back when it's all removed. Alright, so now that we've got all of that taken off this is what it's gonna look like you'll have your four screws your gasket filter cover and spring I always like to keep everything exactly how I take it off so when I go to put it back on it's pretty much a mirror image you're just doing everything backwards so that's gonna go ahead and help you guys out in the long run by being neat and tidy 
So pretty much the filter goes in there. As you guys can see, it's very, very dirty. And when you go to fill it back up, obviously you're gonna to wanna to have the bike level and you're gonna go right in between these two lines. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean all this up and put everything back together in reverse. And you're all done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments, put them down below. Have a good day.